kindergartners, it's Miss Perkins here. So we are getting really close to the end of May. Count with me on the calendar. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 was yesterday. So today is the 28th. That's right. Which makes tomorrow what? Good job. All right. So we're talking about the blue writing. Here we go. Today is Thursday, May 28th. 2020. Here we go with some more counting. You know that we always count on from 33. That's right. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 52. That's how you write that. 52. No school days. Now, I'm going to think about the weather. It's been getting warmer. So, you know, look outside your windows right now. Whenever you're seeing this message and you're going to say what you see up in the sky or coming down or not, but what do you see out there today, right? And how does it feel out there? So I'm going to say this part with you. The weather today is and good job. All right. So. Today is a small group Zoom meeting day. So I have put um, a message on for you to work on, hopefully before you come to our Zoom meeting. I'll give you a hint. Do you see it? Yes. I'm going to ask you all to bring your plant and let me know how it's doing. You can talk about lots of things with it because, let me read this part to you. Dear KP, today is Thursday, May 28th, 2020. We will look at how much our sunflower plants have grown. Please print or copy the two plant writing activities. Yes, there are two of them, just like um, yesterday when we had two math, today we've got two science. We will use them during each small group session. Bring your plant to show the growth. So I already showed you, mine has definitely grown. But here are the two pages I was talking about. So the first one, it has where you put your name really nice handwriting, really practice skyline, plain line, grass line, because this paper really provides that and it's really good to practice it, writing it neatly. Then it asks you a question, just like I would, would talk to you about in foundations. What does a plant need to live? And then it has handwriting here. One, and nice handwriting, two, three, four. And these are for four words. You already know these answers because you filled this out with me one time and with Ms. Pinto. So if you've done anything on the menu or with me and these morning ones, you should already know those answers. But the difference is you're practicing writing them without having like a word bank, you'll have to remember, hmm, what does a plant need to live? 
So you look at your plant and you say, okay, how is it going to survive, right? I'm not going to give you those answers. I want you to come to the Zoom meeting knowing the answers. And then they give you a small box right here and it says draw a picture of a plant. I want you to draw your plant, the one that's rowing, okay, that we had you plant. The other one looks similar. Oh, that was so, here it is. And again, it has that space for your name, nice neat handwriting, and in big letters, plants. Write one fact about plants. So you know how last week we were working on opinion writing. This is not an opinion. Like I can't say, oh, my plant is so cute. Oh, it's absolutely adorable. That's just an opinion that I happen to think my plant is cute. You need to really tell a fact about a plant, something that a plant does for the environment or something that happens while it's growing maybe, or maybe you have your own plants growing outside that are gonna turn into vegetables that you could eat. So there are lots of facts. They have to be scientific though. They can't just be an opinion about it being cute or something. It really needs to be a fact. And then they give you that handwriting down here again, and you're gonna write a whole sentence about your fact about a plant, right? Like if you really wanted to talk about sunflowers, once they grow, that's what that our plant is going to be, right? That the seeds inside the middle, it can provide and make food. The seeds can become food and, or you could take it and replant it and make another plant. I just gave you two facts, but I want you to come up with some of your own. That will be the important writing there and then draw your thinking, okay? Don't just draw any old picture, draw what matches with your writing. Okay, I know I'm giving you a lot, but I know you can do it and be ready for our Zoom meetings with the small groups because I wanna hear all about your plants today, what's happening, what's growing, okay? The other thing, when we had Mr. King on the other day, we ran out of time doing, what's this called? You know it, the estimation jar. So he even gave his guess, do you remember? So think about how many, what are these? Hmm, I haven't told you that yet. I want you to use your imagination, what is in there? And how many? And come to Zoom thinking with, what do I tell you? A thoughtful guess about what's in here. I really look forward to seeing you all during your meetings. I want to hear from you. And it's nice when we have the small groups because everybody gets a chance to talk. So I'll see you soon. Bye.